Hi everyone! In this lesson we are going to write function for Fibonacci series in Python programming language. Length of Fibonacci series will be given by user. First thing first. What is Fibonacci series? Fibonacci series is a series whose first number is 0 second number is 1 and other numbers you will get by adding two previous numbers from that series. So for example for the third member of series two previous numbers are 0 and 1 so when we'll add 0 plus 1 we will get the, that the third member is 1 because 0 plus 1 is 1 then the fourth element is the sum of the two previous elements fourth element is a sum of 1 plus 1 so fourth element is 2 the fifth element is now sum of 1 plus 2 which is 3 the sixth element is sum of 2 plus 3 which is 5 the seventh element is the sum of two last elements 3 and 5 and that is 8 and list goes on. Now let's write function for Fibonacci series. Let's open new file. Okay, first we'll define function let's call it just fib and our function will have one argument that argument will be the length of Fibonacci series we'll use letter n for this argument now if length of series is 0 then the result is 0 so if n is 0 if n is 0 will return 0 as a result of course you must notice that assignment operator in if statement will be with two equal signs next if n is 1 our function need to return 1 as result so we'll say elif n equals 1 then return 1 now otherwise if n is greater than 1 then it will return the result of sum of last two arguments so else will return sum of last two elements we'll use recur recursion to call our function again and as arguments we'll put values of last two elements and they are n minus 1 and n minus 2 so we'll be calling again 
our function fib with arguments n minus 1 and with argument n minus 2 and that is our function for Fibonacci series of course there is other ways to write function if you go to the Python site you can see this Fibonacci example of Fibonacci series uh, this version may be a little difficult for understanding for beginners so I'm using this version which is easy to understand that's all for this video thanks for watching happy coding